Stoicism, the ancient philosophy for lasting happiness and resilience. It's easy to feel overwhelmed, stressed and disconnected from a sense of inner peace and control in today's fast-paced and chaotic world. Getting caught up in external triggers, societal pressures and inevitable challenges can leave us feeling adrift and without purpose. But what if I told you that the solution to finding lasting happiness and resilience has been around for over 2,000 years? That's right, the ancient philosophy of Stoicism, which originated in ancient Greece, holds profound wisdom and practical teachings that are just as relevant today as they were centuries ago. In this comprehensive video, we'll journey through the captivating world of Stoic thought exploring its core principles and how you can apply them to your own life. Brace yourself for the timeless lessons of Stoicism, which can transform how you perceive and navigate the modern world, unlocking a newfound sense of stability, self-mastery and fulfillment. The Dichotomy of Control At the very heart of Stoicism lies the principle of the dichotomy of control, a concept that serves as the foundation for the entire philosophy. The Stoics recognized that certain things are within our control in life, and certain things are entirely outside of our sphere of influence. The secret they taught is to focus your energy and attention solely on what you can control, your thoughts, beliefs and actions. By doing so, you free yourself from the anxiety, stress and distress that so often arises from worrying about external circumstances that are beyond your command. It's a simple yet profoundly liberating idea. Instead of expending precious energy fretting over things you cannot change, you learn to accept what is outside of your control with grace and poise, while channeling your efforts into shaping the aspects of your life that are within your power to influence. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus summed up this principle eloquently when he said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This mindset of radical acceptance and self-mastery is the key to cultivating the inner peace and resilience that the Stoics highly value. Let's explore a practical example to grasp the power of the dichotomy of control truly. Imagine you're stuck in heavy traffic on your way to an important meeting. You can't control the traffic, the actions of other drivers, or the road conditions. Those are external factors beyond your influence. However, what you can control is your reaction to the situation. You could become frustrated, angry and stressed, which only compounds your negative experience and drains your energy or you could accept the reality of the situation with a calm and centered mindset, using the unexpected delay as an opportunity to listen to a podcast, practice deep breathing exercises, or enjoy a rare moment of stillness amidst the chaos. By embracing the dichotomy of control and focusing on what you can influence, you cultivate a sense of empowerment and self-mastery rather than allowing external circumstances to dictate your emotional state and overall well-being. The Four Stoic Virtues In addition to the dichotomy of control, Stoicism is also defined by its emphasis on cultivating four cardinal virtues – wisdom, courage, justice and temperance. According to the Stoics, Embodying these virtues was essential for living a truly fulfilling and meaningful life, as they served as guideposts for navigating life's challenges with grace, integrity and resilience. Let's take a closer look at each of these virtues and explore how you can incorporate them into your own life. Wisdom For the Stoics, wisdom was more than just accumulating knowledge. It was the ability to make sound judgments discern truth from falsehood and develop a deep understanding of the fundamental nature of reality. Cultivating wisdom meant developing clarity of mind, objectivity and the capacity for rational, critical thinking. In practical terms, 
embodying the virtue of wisdom might involve practices like regular self-reflection, seeking out diverse perspectives, questioning your assumptions and biases. It's about developing the humility to recognize the limits of your knowledge and the curiosity to continually expand your understanding of the world and your place in it. Courage. In the Stoic tradition, courage wasn't just about physical bravery, but also the strength to face life's challenges with steadfastness, resolve, and an unwavering commitment to doing what is right, even in the face of adversity or opposition. The Stoics practiced courage by confronting their fears head on, embracing discomfort and difficulty as opportunities for growth and refusing to be cowed by external circumstances beyond their control. True courage, they believed, stemmed from a deep sense of self-awareness and a commitment to living in alignment with one's values and principles. Justice. For the Stoics, justice encompassed far more than just adherence to laws and societal norms. It was a fundamental virtue that embodied fairness, honesty, and a commitment to doing what is morally right, even when it is difficult or unpopular. The Stoics strove to treat others with respect, integrity and compassion, recognizing that we are all interconnected and that our actions have ripple effects that extend far beyond our immediate sphere of influence. Embodying the virtue of justice meant being a force for good in the world, standing up for what is right, and working to create a more equitable and just society for all. Temperance. The final Stoic virtue. Temperance is often misunderstood as merely a call for asceticism or self-denial. However, in the Stoic tradition, temperance was about cultivating self-restraint, moderation, and controlling one's desires and impulses. The Stoics practiced temperance by detaching themselves from material possessions and sensory pleasures, recognizing that true happiness and fulfillment come from within, not external sources. By embracing temperance, they could maintain their composure and focus on what truly mattered, rather than being swept away by fleeting cravings or societal pressures. By embodying these four virtues, wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance, the Stoics believed that one could achieve eudaimonia, a state of human flourishing and deep, abiding happiness that transcended external circumstances and material wealth. Stoic Practices While the philosophical underpinnings of Stoicism are profound and multifaceted, the true beauty of this ancient wisdom lies in its practicality and the wealth of techniques and exercises that the Stoics developed to help individuals internalize and live by these principles. One of the most potent Stoic practices is journaling or regularly reflecting on one's thoughts, emotions and actions through the written word. By taking the time to pause, observe and document their inner experiences, the Stoics gained valuable self-knowledge, identified areas for personal growth, and cultivated a more profound sense of self-awareness. Journaling can take many forms, from a simple daily log of events and emotions to more structured reflections on specific challenges or virtues one strives to embody. Putting pen to paper or fingers to keyboard clarifies one's thoughts. It provides a safe space for honest self-examination, free from the distractions and filters of the external world. Another critical Stoic exercise is negative visualization, which might sound morbid at first glance, but is a powerful tool for cultivating gratitude, resilience, and a deeper appreciation for the present moment. The practice involves intentionally imagining the loss of the people, possessions, or experiences we cherish most, a loved one, a career, our health, or even something as simple as our home or favorite belongings. By vividly picturing these losses, even temporarily, we are jolted out of our complacency and reminded of the impermanence of all things. Far from being a morbid exercise in pessimism, 
negative visualization is a potent antidote to the human tendency to take the good things in life for granted. It helps us cultivate a sense of gratitude and appreciation for what we have while mentally preparing us for the inevitable ups and downs that life will bring. Perhaps the most well-known stoic practice is the meditation on mortality, often called memento mori, which translates to remember that you must die. This contemplation of the transience and finitude of human existence might seem like a grim exercise. Still, for the Stoics, it was a powerful tool for cutting through the trivialities and distractions of daily life. Memento Mori, or Remembering Your Mortality, is a Stoic meditation on the transience of life. By contemplating our death and the impermanence of all things, we are reminded to let go of petty concerns, material attachments, and trivial pursuits that ultimately have no lasting significance. Instead, the Stoics used this practice to focus their minds and efforts on what truly mattered, living with virtue, forming deep connections with others, and leaving a positive legacy. After all, when we are constantly aware of the finite nature of our existence, we are far less likely to fritter away our time and energy on pursuits that do not align with our deepest values and priorities. Of course, consistently putting these stoic practices into action is no easy feat. It requires discipline, dedication, and a willingness to challenge our deeply ingrained patterns of thought and behavior. However, the rewards of doing so are immeasurable we can gradually internalize the stoic mindset and way of being through regular journaling, negative visualization, and meditations on mortality. We become more self-aware, resilient, and better equipped to navigate life's inevitable challenges with grace and poise. Moreover, as we embody the stoic virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance in our daily lives, we open ourselves up to a profound sense of purpose, fulfillment, and eudaimonia, that elusive state of human flourishing that the Stoics so highly prized. The modern relevance of Stoicism. At this point, you might think, sure, Stoicism sounds great in theory, but how does an ancient Greek philosophy apply to our modern lives with all its complexities and unique challenges? While the specific circumstances and contexts may have changed over the centuries, the fundamental human experiences that Stoicism addresses, fear, grief, anger, attachment, and the search for meaning and purpose, are as relevant today as they were two millennia ago. In many ways, the pervasive sense of anxiety, stress, and disconnection that so many of us feel in the modern world makes the teachings of Stoicism more valuable and applicable than ever before. In a society that often values material wealth, instant gratification, and fleeting pleasures over deeper sources of fulfillment, the Stoic virtues of temperance, self-control, and a commitment to living with integrity can serve as a much-needed counterbalance. Moreover, in an age of information overload, constant connectivity, and rapidly shifting societal norms, the stoic principles of focusing on what is within our control, cultivating equanimity and detaching from external circumstances can provide a steady anchor and a path to inner peace amidst chaos. Ultimately, stoicism offers a timeless framework for living a life of purpose, resilience, and genuine happiness, arguably more elusive and coveted than ever in our fast-paced, constantly stimulated modern world. Conclusion. As we reach the end of our exploration into the profound wisdom of Stoicism, it's important to remember that this ancient philosophy is not a mere intellectual exercise or a set of rigid rules to be followed dogmatically. Instead, it is a living, breathing tradition that invites us to continually question, reflect, and refine our understanding of living a fulfilling and virtuous life. 
The path of Stoicism is not easy. It demands that we confront our deepest fears, challenge our ingrained patterns of thought and behavior, and embrace discomfort and adversity as opportunities for growth and self-mastery. But the rewards are immeasurable for those willing to embark on this journey of self-discovery and self-actualization. By embracing the dichotomy of control, embodying the stoic virtues of wisdom, courage, justice and temperance, and consistently practicing the time-honored techniques of journaling, negative visualization, and memento mori. We open ourselves up to a profound sense of inner peace, resilience, and eudaimonia. That elusive state of human flourishing that the Stoics so highly valued. In a world that often feels chaotic, unpredictable, and beyond our control, Stoicism offers a steadying force a compass to guide us through life's storms with grace, stability, and an unwavering commitment to living by virtue and reason. So, why take the first step on this transformative journey today? Start small. Incorporate one stoic practice or principle into your daily life and observe how it shifts your perspective and sense of well-being. Allow the timeless wisdom of stoicism to permeate your thoughts, words, and actions, and watch as you cultivate a more profound understanding of inner peace, resilience, and fulfillment. The ancient path of Stoicism awaits, offering a way of life that transcends the modern world's fleeting distractions and external circumstances. Are you ready to embrace its transformative power? If so, let's begin 